good morning dear students so in today's class we will be starting the third module so in third module uh, we are going to look at partial differential equation of second order so we will start with how to form a pde of second order and then we will look at how to solve for pde involving constant coefficients so ningle uh, you have already learned how to solve for uh, od linear ordinary differential equation involving constant coefficients ningal complementary function particular integral um ok kandupidikkan padichittunde so same way uh, we will look at how to solve for td involving constant coefficients and then we will look at uh, how to uh, classify a general second order pd uh, a general second order pd can be classified into uh, different types it can be either hyperbolic pd or it can be uh, either elliptic or paraboloid uh, so we look at how to uh, classify different second order pd and uh, in each case how to find the solution and then we'll see a few standard uh second order pdes and uh, towards the end of the module uh, we will look at uh, another method for solving uh, second order pd which is called the uh, monge's method so these are the uh, few important topics you will be seeing in the third module so in today's class we will look at uh, the formation of second order pd so namla uh, first order pd da formation kandu so if uh, the number of independent variables is same as the number of arbitrary constants involved so there you will get a first order pd now if the number of arbitrary constants involved is more than uh, the number of independent variables so there for eliminating the different arbitrary constants you need to use the higher order derivatives number of arbitrary constants and number of independent variables in same angle namaku first order uh, first uh, partial derivatives und constants eliminate cheyan pattum so when the number of constants arbitrary constants are more so there we will get a higher order pd and uh, again that was a case when uh, you form a pd uh, then the function involves or the family of uh, curves involves ആർബിട്രി കോൺസ്റ്റന്റ് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മൾ ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ വരുന്ന കേസ് കണ്ടു ഇനി ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ വരുന്ന കേസിൽ ഒരു ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഗീവ് എ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓർഡർ പി ഡി സോ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് മോർ ദാൻ വൺ ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഗീവ് യു ഹയർ ഓർഡർ പി ഡി സോ ഹിയർ ടുഡേസ് ക്ലാസ് യു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ഹൗ ടു ഫോം ദി പി ഡി സോ വെൻ യു ഹാവ് ആർബിട്രി കോൺസ്റ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഇൻവോൾഡ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് and uh, ini nammal derivatives so if you have the function z equal to f of xy so uh, we use p and q to represent the derivatives with respect to x and y so p is zx q is zy and r represents zxx s represents zxy or that can be zyx and t represents zyy okay so these will be the notations we will be using similar to p and q so we will use r s and t to denote the second order partial derivatives uh, so we will see an example so first we will see how to form a pd by eliminating arbitrary constants uh, so you are given the function z equal to ax square plus bxy plus cy square so a b and c are arbitrary constants so you need to eliminate a b and c so that will give us the pd so on differentiating with respect to x uh, you will get 2ax plus py then zy is uh, again when you differentiate with respect to y so you will get dx plus 2cy uh, now you cannot eliminate all the three uh, Uh, arbitrary constants using these two equations so we will go for the second order derivative so when i take zxx zxx is 2a zxy is b and zyy is 2c 
So from here we will get a equal to zx x by 2, b is zx y and c is uh, z by y by 2. So substitute for a, b and c. So therefore this is going to be the required pb. So that is qz equal to x square uh, dou square z by dou x square plus 2xy dou square z by dou x dou y plus y square dou square z by dou y square. Right? That is qz equal to r x square plus 2xy s plus y square t. And the next equation is ax square plus by square plus c z square equal to 1. So, differentiate partially with respect to x and y. So, that will give us 2ax plus uh, 2, uh, 2c z into t will come. Dou z by dou x will differentiate them on equal to 0. When you differentiate with respect to y, you will get 2by plus 2c z q equal to 0. And again, uh, once again differentiate with respect to x and y. So, that will give 2a first equation in differentiating with respect to x. So, that will be 2a plus 2c into z derivative of p again with respect to x that is r. So, z r plus uh, p into uh, dou z by dou x. So, that is p into p. So, p square value. Again, when you differentiate with respect to y uh, that will give so, I am differentiating the same equation. R the equation that I have I to differentiate here. First term in the derivative 0 of second term in the derivative of 2c. Z into uh, derivative p with respect to y that is s. So, z s plus p into uh, q value. That is it by dou by q value. So, therefore, from this equation will be 2c into z x plus p q equal to 0. So, the product is 0. So, that is zs plus pq is equal to 0. And now next we will see how to form pd by eliminating an arbitrary function. Uh, so the first question is, so we have x equal to f of z plus g of y. So this is a uh, function uh, which contains so, two arbitrary terms in it. There are two arbitrary functions involved. So, f and g are arbitrary functions. Uh, so, now we will find the first order derivatives first. So, differentiating with respect to x, you will get 1 equal to uh, f dash of z into dou z by dou x where second term in the derivative 0 of. Now, on differentiating with respect to y, we will get 0 equal to f dash of z into dou z by dou y plus g dash of y. Now again uh, differentiate this equation. When you run down the equation again x will differentiate that you will get 0 equal to f dash of z into uh, dou square z by dou x dou y plus you are differentiating with respect to okay. So you have product rule here. So plus dou z by dou y into uh, f dash f dash and derivative are the f double dash into dou z by dou x square. So, again, differentiating with respect to x, g dash of y the derivative of 0. So, we will get an equation of this form. So, f double dash dou z by dou y dou z by dou x plus f dash of z dou square z by dou y dou x. So, that is the equation of f dash and f double dash. Uh, f double dash na uh, 1 by p in the So, now I need to remove only f double dash. So, what we do is, uh, so we will differentiate the first equation. Now, we have equated equation. Again, uh, you differentiate with respect to x. So, uh, differentiate the first equation with respect to uh, x again. So, that will give 0 equal to f double dash of z into dou z by dou x whole square value plus f dash of z into uh, dou square z by dou z square. So, uh, I need substitute for f dash. Uh, then, we will get f double dash z into p square plus this is r, r by p equal to 0. 
സോ ഈ ഇക്വേഷൻ നിന്ന് എഫ് ഡബിൾ ഡാഷിന്റെ വാല്യൂ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന മൈനസ് ആർ ബൈ പി ക്യൂബ് വരും എഫ് ഡാഷ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വൺ ബൈ പി യു ആയിരിക്കും സോ സബ്സ്റ്റ്യൂട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഹിയർ സോ ദോർ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ദ റിക്വയർഡ് പി ഡി എസ് പി ക്യൂ ഇൻ ടു മൈനസ് ആർ ബൈ പി ക്യൂ പ്ലസ് എസ് ബൈ പി ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ സോ ആൻ സിംപ്ലിഫൈ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് മൈനസ് ആർ ക്യൂ പ്ലസ് എസ് പി ബൈ പി സ്ക്വയർ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് പി എസ് മൈനസ് ക്യു ആർ ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് എ റിക്വയർഡ് പി ബി അത് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇക്വേഷന് സെഡ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എഫ് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് ഇ റേസ് ടു വൈ ജി ഓഫ് എക്സ് So, differentiate with respect to x and y. So, that will be p equal to f dash of x plus e raised to y into g dash of x. And q will be differentiate with respect to y at the e raised to y into g of x. Now, uh, here again, differentiate with respect to y, you will get the same derivative. So, e raised to y into g of x. So, therefore, you will get the equation q equal to t. So, the required PD is Q equal to T. And the next one is, we have Z equal to YFX plus XG1. So, differentiate with respect to X. So, P is Y into F dash plus G of Y value. And when you differentiate with respect to Y, you get Q equal to F of X plus uh, X into G dash of Y. Y. Now, uh, S is, so, ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു പിനോ കിനോ ഡിഫറെൻഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാത്ത റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു അതർ വേരിയബിൾ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഗിവ് എസ് സോ എസ് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി സോ ഇഫ് ഐ ഡിഫറെൻഷിയേറ്റ് പി വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു വൈ സോ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എഫ് ഡാഷ് പ്ലസ് ജി ഡാഷ് വൈ സോ എസ് ഇസ് എഫ് ഡാഷ് പ്ലസ് ജി ഡാഷ് വൈ സോ ഇഫ് വി ടേക്ക് പി എക്സ് പ്ലസ് ക്യൂ വൈ So, multiply the first equation with x and second equation with respect to y. Then you will get xy. So, px plus qy will be xy into f dash plus g dash rm plus xg plus yf. So, which is the value of z. So, therefore, the equation is xp plus yq equal to xys plus z. So, this is the required PD. And the next one is, we have z equal to f of x plus i y plus g of x minus i y, where i square is equal to minus 1. So, we will get p equal to, so, in differentiating with respect to x, we will get p equal to f dash of x plus i y plus g dash of x minus i v. And q is i into f dash of x plus i y. minus i into g dash of x minus i y. So, I am finding r and t. So, you will get f double dash plus g double dash of then t will be uh, minus of f double dash plus g double dash. So, that is now i square is minus 1. So, r is equal to minus of t. So, therefore, the equation is r plus t equal to 0.